Jaguar XF demo performed on Jaguar F-Pace. This interface is 100% made in the USA. Please support American jobs. In this demo, we're going to show you video in motion for Jaguar and Land Rovers with a big screen. This is Jaguar and Land Rovers, same company with the same radios. Pretty much it's all the same thing. Just one is a Jaguar and one is Land Rover. This is for cars with large screen that have HDMI inputs. This is a Jaguar F-Pace with a large screen. This is not a small 7-inch screen. That's the screen that has no buttons on the sides of the screen. You will need to access the radio module located over here in the right quarter panel. And first step, we're going to remove this panel right here. So this panel has to come out. It just pops out of the place. So let's go ahead and pop the panel out. Panel is removed and remove the cover. Then you need to remove the tire and in there you have to remove everything behind. In the middle unscrew the tire right there and after you unscrew the tire the back piece just comes out because it just it's a Velcro. So now I want to remove the back tools. This is just Velcro. They just pull out. Just pull on them. And they're going to come out. They're just held by Velcro. And now we need to get to this piece right there. Behind this panel. So we have to get behind this panel. And behind that panel, that's where the radio module is sitting. So what do we need to do to get behind this panel? When you unscrew these clips, you got three of them. So this clip right here needs to be removed. You unscrew them and then using the panel tool. Can take them out so basically these are the clips that we're taking out we got three of them in the line and we got two of these they need to be unscrewed so you might need a tool but this is what it is you can use something like this to unscrew them you can use a socket that is T40 socket to unscrew them. Okay? T40 socket will remove them. So you got three plastic clips, two metal clips. On the side here, you got two of these clips. Take care to remove them. There's a piece that you just slide out with a tool carefully. See this how, how it slides out? You got two of these on the sides, one here, one there. They just slide out. All right. Then remove the top cover that's covering the door on top. Remove the screw located behind the handle. After you remove the screw, you'll be able to just pop out this panel. It just pulls out. There's a release that you release either move it out of the place or remove it completely the whole panel can come out just to show you it's just clips holding it there's nothing but clips now the last thing is you can just move the carpet out of the way and you will be able to access the radio right here there's one clip over here if you want more access this is the radio module. That's where everything is going to get connected. You have the HDMI. If you want to put the wireless mirroring adapter in the trunk instead of the front, you can install it here. And all the connections are done right here in the trunk. If you're doing CarPlay, you will have to run USB down to the front, which is pretty easy. 
but everything else you can do in the trunk if you want to do video in motion for factory HD module you have in the back but if you want to do wireless mirroring you can install the module right here in the back and you can have it sitting somewhere here so we're gonna continue with the installation this will work on all the Jaguars and Land Rovers so basically we're not adding anything using factory HDMI you can add a wireless mirroring adapter that supports iPhone and Android you can add CarPlay if you want we'll show you in a second how CarPlay may work with the extra remote but it all will use factory HDMI so basically you press HDMI and it goes full screen this is Waze this is the regular phone you can have iPhone or Android this this is a factory HDMI that's there if you remember previously you had this image you're not able to use while driving now when you're in drive you can see the whole image this is actually you know park spark position in reverse you get obviously your rear camera this is obviously your neutral and this is drive so in drive we can see the HDMI no problem see neutral that's how it was before right but when you put in drive you can drive so let's go ahead and we're going to move a little bit see we're driving I'm actually driving and the video stays on and you can do anything YouTube Netflix basically this is just HDMI input same as you know anywhere basically same input you see I'm driving right now this is the same input that you're gonna find in your um, home TV basically whatever you want to connect you can connect and we're also going to offer an option to have an Apple CarPlay in the car you see Netflix but the way the Apple CarPlay is gonna work you're gonna need the little remote so let me show you the remote if you want to use CarPlay and then if you want to have Apple CarPlay you can use this kind of remote this is our remote it's very small right you know if you want to compare the size and it mounts to the steering wheel so let me show you it's gonna be mounted right there right on the steering wheel and it's not gonna take up any space look at this right and it's like original the way it's designed it always pushes against the steering wheel so it's not gonna move anywhere or give you any problems and with this remote see it's very small it doesn't stick out it doesn't stick out this way either so if you want to compare it a little bit bigger than a silver dollar and then you have all the options and the way it's designed you see we got this rubber pad in the back so this rubber which means it pushes the unique design of the steering wheel remote it pushes against the steering wheel and with this options you have basically this remote so if I push it really hard it's not gonna move in it's always gonna stay here so with this you can have Apple CarPlay on your front screen and this interface in motion is suitable for all the Jaguars with the large screen so which means the screen that doesn't have the buttons on the side of the screen so basically if you don't have these two buttons on the side you're good to go it has HDMI input from the factory so Jaguars Land Rovers all with a big screen 2016 and up please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell the subscribe button on the left works on PC tablet and phones just click it to subscribe on the right hand side check out our other videos thank you for watching if you have any questions, email or messages.